Hello everyone, my name is Mina Anwar and I am proud to be a patron of Sparkle Sheffield. Yay! So hello and um, I can't wait to do loads and loads of work on your behalf. Um, but today I'm here to tell you a story. And before I begin, I just want to say a big thank you to Angel, who I know has been doing loads of work helping her mum run this fabulous charity. So hello to you, hello to Leash, and all the other fabulous, fabulous volunteers at Sparkle Sheffield. Uh, so let's start. So today's story is called, Who's in the Loo? It's a wonderful, funny little tale, and I hope you enjoy it. It is written by Jean Willis and illustrated by Adrian Reynolds. Who's in the loo? There's a very long queue. Is it an elephant having a poo? They're taking forever. Now who could it be? A whale who's doing the biggest wee? Is it a tiger who needed a tiddle? A wandering wombat who wanted a whittle? A waddling penguin too frozen to piddle? Is it a rhino? who had a hot curry. Or could it be a tortoise? Well, they never hurry. Whoever it is, it's a bit of a worry. Perhaps it's a hamster who can't reach the seat. Or maybe a monkey who's washing his feet. Or a snake who's sitting there sucking a sweet. Perhaps it's a poor little velvety mole who reached for the paper and fell down the bowl and is bobbing about like a damp bit of coal. Has a hippo's fat bottom got wedged in the pan? Is a rat being sick after eating a flan? Or is a cat sailing its catamaran? Who's in the loo? That's what we'd like to know. And why are they being so terribly slow? We're all getting desperate. It's our turn to go. Is it a crocodile clipping his nails? Is it a school of skunks washing their tails? Or is it a coach load of elderly snails? Perhaps it's a sloth who's fallen asleep. Or is it a shepherd who's dipping his sheep? Or a leopard who's changing his spots? Have a peep. Is it a stoat who's making a stink? Or a pig who's washing his pants in the sink? Perhaps it's a porpoise. Well, what do you think? Who's in the loo? We just haven't a clue. Bang on the door. It's all we can do. We heard a small voice. It said, I'm in the loo. I'm just doing what my mum told me to do. But it takes me forever. No one understands. It was octopus washing his eight little hands. <laughs>